In this video, I'll show you how to use PowerShell Pro Tools to automate the Visual Studio Code editor. PowerShell Pro Tools has a series of commandlets that actually integrate with the Visual Studio Code API and allow you to execute particular functions within the API to automate the editor itself. You'll need PowerShell Pro Tools version 5.9 or later. Um, I'm going to show you some examples of uh, some of the integration points that you can use. Uh, the first one is the ability to actually use the uh, Quick Pick Editor. So the Quick Pick Editor allows you to provide options to the end user and then have them select um, those options directly inside Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to select a couple different options, or specify a couple different options here, and we're going to store that in a variable. So now if I execute this particular PowerShell script, what you'll see is that the options menu appears at the top here. I can select one of these options, and if we look at a variable, you'll see that our selected item is the option that the user selected from the Quick Pick menu. We can also use things such as the um, message box pop-up that you might see in the bottom right corner of VS Code pretty frequently. Um, in this case, I'm going to actually take that selected item and I'm going to show that in the bottom right corner. So uh, in addition to actually showing uh, just messages such as this one. You can actually include items the user can uh, select and then you can do things after that user selects an item. Um, you can show errors and warnings and information messages. Um, next, let's actually look at uh, editing code and opening documents with uh, the uh, Visual Studio um, commandlets. So some of the things that you can do are look at uh, text editors. So you can see or terminals, um, text editors and text documents uh, and then use those objects to actually edit the documents and um, modify the text inside the terminals. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to open a new document just to show you how to do that. There's the open VS Code text document. From there you can specify a file name and I'm going to open uh, my document and if I press F8 on that you'll see that I've opened a new document and I can start to um, integrate either automation or allow the user to start editing that manually. Um, additionally we can do things such as modify uh, the current document that we're working in. So I'm going to use the new uh, VS Code position commandlet to create a new position. So this is a position within a document and I'm going to start at the very beginning of the document on line 0 and character 0 because it's uh, zero base indexed. Um, I just have one editor open right now, so I'm going to get the VS Code text document, um, just a list of those, and then I'm actually going to add text to this particular document. So I can just pipe that document into add VS Code text document text, um, pipe in or add the position that I want or where I want to insert that text. So in this case, I'm going to insert it into the beginning of um, the document and then I could just specify some text. So in this case I'm going to say write host um, I'll put hello and then if I do a new line save that and what we'll see when we execute this is that it actually inserts that text at the beginning of the document. So what's cool about that is it doesn't just insert the text and save the file uh, instead it actually uh, inserts the text and then um, it uh, creates an edit inside the document. So that edit inside the document uh, we can then undo with control Z or we can save that edit with control S. So I am going to just undo that edit. So there are, are also commandlets for removing text so that you can um, modify the, the document however you see fit. Um, additionally you can get the entire text of the document or a range of text in the document using get VS Code text document text. Um, another thing that you can integrate with uh, are the terminals. So if we want to grab one of the terminals, we can use get VS Code uh, terminal. And then what we're going to actually do is filter these terminals and grab the PowerShell uh, integrated console. So now if I run this, what you'll see is our terminal object here uh, actually is the terminal that I selected. So you can see that I'm using the PowerShell integrated terminal. It has an ID um, and some rows and columns and then how it was created. Uh, one of the things that you could do with the terminal uh, is that you can actually send text to the terminal. So I'm going to pipe 
um, the terminal object over to send VS Code terminal text. And I want to just output another right host command. We'll just say hello. And we'll add a new line. And when you do this with the uh, PowerShell integrated terminal, what it actually does is it will execute that line. So now if I run this, you'll see that uh, in my terminal down here, it wrote out right host and then it actually executed that right host command in the terminal. Um, finally, I want to show you how to decorate text inside the editor itself. So decorating text is the concept of um, setting font colors or weight. Um, all different things you can do to the text inside the actual editor itself. Uh, this is good for, you know, highlighting different parts of code. Um, the language services kind of do it to do syntax highlighting, that kind of thing. Um, you've all you've probably seen Git Lens uh, puts additional text um, on different parts of your code to say when it was checked in last and that kind of thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a range. Um, so this is a new VS Code range and this will specify a range of text within the document so unlike a position which is a single place within the document this is a start and end um, locations within a document so it could be an entire range of text so we're going to do start line we're going to start at the beginning um, start character also start at the beginning um, our end line we're going to also be at the beginning but let's select um, the last column in this particular line so if we do end character uh, we can do character 101 that line is um, 102 characters long so that is how you generate a range of characters inside an editor and then from there we want to actually grab our editor so we're going to get our text editor and we're going to set the VS Code um, text editor decoration uh, you'll need to specify a key for this um, that's so that you can uh, identify this te text decoration later in case you want to remove it. Um, and then we want to specify a range. This is the uh, range of code that we're going to apply this decoration to. And then we're going to apply a couple different styles to it. So let's make the text bold. And then we're going to set the background color to error uh, foreground. So in terms of the colors, like right now, it supports the theme colors. So the theme colors are um, just keys within um, the VS Code API, and those keys uh, tie back to the current theme you're using. So in my case, I'm using this dark theme here, um, and that will have different colors based on the theme that you have selected. So instead of specifying an uh, individual color itself, what I'm doing here is I'm actually selecting a theme color. And if you go over to the VS Code API documentation, there's actually a very good page on all the different colors that you can select. Um, and then these will adjust based on the theme that you're actually using. So as you can see here, I'm using error foreground for this particular example. So now let's go ahead and apply that text decoration. And now you can see the first line up here. It's actually uh, it has this kind of salmon-y color and the text is um, bold now. So that's how you kind of apply text decorations to a particular set of text. So that might be good for highlighting certain things if you're you know, automating something inside uh, uh, VS Code. Um, once you want to get rid of a text decoration, what you can use uh, is clear VS Code uh, decoration. Um, and this is where you can specify your, your key if you wanted to just remove an uh, individual text decoration. but if you run it without that, it will actually remove all text, dec text decorations that you applied via the PowerShell command lines. So you run that and you can see the text has now uh, reverted back to the original um, style. So uh, this is the kind of the first initial release of the uh, PowerShell command lines for VS Code. Um, the VS Code API provides a lot of other functionality and depending on uh, user input, we'll be uh, adding more command lines to the, this particular set and you can go and download the PowerShell Pro Tools um, Visual Studio Code extension uh, directly from the marketplace right now and uh, make sure you get a version 5.9 or later.